ready to fight. You ready? All right, so here we go with this highly anticipated stand-up only event. You gotta play by the rules here. There aren't a ton of them, but there is no grappling of any type, either on the feet or on the ground. Fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor as well, so that bears watching here as round one gets underway. Straight right hand now just misses. What a beautiful fight. Throwing that jab, no good. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home over. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Alvin fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you. That can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. That left hook was crazy. Well, fear is not a factor for this striker. Coming out swinging early. Oh! something defensively, there is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. He could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that strike over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, making things go low the fight over the top. With that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, nice right hand. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Under a minute to go. Gregor's eye starting to swell now. And now leather being thrown on both sides. Oh! They continue to exchange. trouble finding the range too. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by McGregor. My champion. Absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides.
opportunity goes by the boards. He's oh, he's done bad. He's got to grab it. He's got to recover. I mean, jeez Louise. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. McGregor's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Big shot lands for both guys. So the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his chin. All right, so there's the end of the round. And round two, Conor McGregor versus Ready, Dustin fight. Poirier. Ready. Go. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl. Seminal moments on both sides. And the fight is still going on. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see if we continue down the path and really try and fit the in a world of trouble now. look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered to nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. Watch the referee right then and there has called a stop to the action. Looks like he's going to call on the doctor to look at the cut, and it is a pretty significant one, DC. Well, he's bleeding a lot, and the, the, the blood is going into his eyes. It's very difficult for him to see right now. Well, the doctor doesn't care about yeah, 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 That's yeah, the end so of the fight. And again, when you talk about idea. fighting in the future, you got to have an athlete's health in mind. I know you hate to see it. But. You know, you had behind the jab and you would expect it at the start of every single fight. The jab leads to everything else that he does inside the octagon. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Nice block there. Punch lands. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Three minutes to go. 26 total strikes have landed for Max Blessed Holloway. That's the big six to fight the score. How's his opponent I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. 
Johnson. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you like. So if you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Nice one-two combination there. Oh, nice kick. Moving to his left. Holloway's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just... Oh, a head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, so Justin Gaethje putting on a show as usual, and we feel very privileged to have these seats, but specifically when this man fights, it is a sight to behold. You know, John, we always say stuff like, he's your favorite fighter, his favorite fighter. That's you. He got hurt again. Gets back to his feet. Oh, both. Both land. Outstanding back and forth first round. All right, so that round is in the books. Holloway's eye is looking pretty bad at this point, DC. The cut man. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being. Round two. Justin Gates versus Max Ready. Holloway. Good. Holloway gets hit with a kick. I mean, oh, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up right. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing, you know, oh, oh, beautiful combination, he knocks him down. All right, so a wise decision by him. Oh, Right there, interrupted by Holloway. So oh, nice. Oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. the action here no surprise to see it the ref is going to get the doctor to look at that eye that is nearly shut at this point yeah it's swollen bad but he seems to still want to be out there all right we'll see if the doctor allows the fight to continue it looks as though he will crowd loves it when the doctor lets the fight continue don't I, they? I, I love it i love it when he lets it continue especially when you have a fight that has been as fun as this one to this point ready good just over three minutes to go. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's a huge struggle in the He landed that massive shot. Now he has to try to make the next shot. That's it. Holy oh, smokes. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so this highly anticipated stand-up only event is now underway. Friendly reminder on the rules and hopefully you'll play by them. No grappling of any type. So if you like striking, this is the event for you. Also, fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. This is a stand-up only event. Let's see how it plays out. 
Oh, these are some punishing leg kicks that she's landing in the early going here. Not sure if she has hit that perennial nerve just yeah. that champ, but a lot of damage you can already see. She is turning her hip into the kick. She's throwing her entire body. Oh, flying knee to the head. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Lower the curtain. Bring the cast out. Bring the cast out. We take the ball. The night's over. Man, these women are delivering for fight fans around the world. What a start to this fight. How could you possibly be seated when you are watching this level of activity from these two women at the beginning? Huge shots going on right here. Well, she's got a good jab, missed with it there. Well, her striking has been great tonight, rocked her opponent pretty significantly, but you gotta think there's a little bit of disappointment that she wasn't able to get the finish. She should be disappointed that she didn't finish the fight. This would look like it was over. If she gets this opportunity again, she needs to go all out to try to finish the fight. Pretty good jab there by Rodriguez. Rosso's eye is closing. Oh, no. Yep. Swing and a miss with that punch by Grosso. <laughs> and that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Rodriguez's his nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Well, I hope the judges recognize that she's blocking the majority of these shots. She's doing it. Her opponent's hurt. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Go back up, push forward. Well, the hook has been her primary weapon of choice tonight. Let's see if she sets it up again here. Rodriguez's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show. She's in a lot of trouble, John. She's gonna have to be so smart to reach the final belt. Uppercut. on the floor. Let's see who the last woman standing will be. Young Chechev gets tattooed by a solid uppercut there. Can't take too many more of those. Nice hook lands by her early. A little bit of extra sauce on that one as well. She felt like she'd be able to get inside and did a nice job to close the distance there. Well, she knew that if she threw it, she had to throw it with intent. That was with intent and landed with a lot of impact. of your seat action as expected so far. Oh, nice kick. Useful strike there. The hook is clean. Oh, my goodness. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Big uppercut. Some real power shots here. So 31 total strikes have now landed for Ioana Yonjecha. All right, so now we see some bruising on that calf on the lead leg, DC. Well, she talked about it in the fighter meet. She goes, we are going to beat her lead leg up. She's found a lot of success doing that to this point. Pretty good straight punch there by Ioana Yonjecha. 
Man, has she come out swinging tonight. Don't tell her about Muhammad Ali running miles back. She's moving forward. She's going forward from the moment the official says to fight, and that is why we show sure watching the fight. And she snapped her head back there. This could be the end. She landed a massive uppercut. That hurt her opponent very, very fast. There it is again. Look at that. Back to the feet. This is a great fight. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that center. Oh, what's going on right here? Oh, I have a cut. Oh, oh right. Great job blocking that shot. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rock pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find that one shot that would have been the fight. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Oh, my goodness. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen, two of the best women in the world, and they both knocked each other down in that previous round. They decided before they stepped in the octagon that they were going to bite down on their mouthpieces and let... You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. All right, next round is underway here after one of the better five-minute sequences in recent UFC history. Crazy action in that previous Hats round. Hats off to both of these two young ladies. They both fought a tremendous round. Well, while she's leaking a lot of blood now, that cut is getting worse. So she and she did not miss there. This could be the end of I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long, both of these women. Oh! She's getting up, yep. cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see how it plays out. Just out of range with that strike. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury! It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. And who is going to be the last man standing? We're just getting started, and they are getting after it. These dudes are throwing bombs. This is going to be a great fight. Oh, nice right hand. Well-placed kick there by Adesanya. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. 26 total strikes have now landed for the full. Back to his feet. Every single kick. Oh. Man, what a fight. Nice power there with the left hook upstairs. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent's recovered. 
recovered. Now he's got to be dealing with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. All right, so late in the round now, and the narrative, of course, has been Israel Adesanya striking. He is at his sniping best tonight. Yeah, Izzy looks good. You know, he's one of the best kickboxers we have ever seen come into the UFC. And when his striking is on point, not many can compete with the last style bender. That is being shown tonight in the octagon. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with it. Perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. Nice block. Mabov's left leg is damaged now. You can see he is limping. It was that last kick from his opponent that appeared to do the bulk of the damage. Beautiful combination to get the knockdown. him with the left. Oh, Five yeah. minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, let's get to round two. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC, oh, he lands another huge leg kick downstairs. This could be the beginning of the John, it's time for his corner to start looking at stopping this fight. He has taken far too many of these leg kicks. Take someone out. I'm up to take someone out. Yeah. Take it's me. Oh, 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 oh,